Dr. J back with you, running through the alternative milestones from today, Friday. Uh, and we just had songs from three different albums that were all celebrating their fifth anniversary milestone today. Uh, Jamie XX, his debut solo album called In Color. Uh, we heard the song Loud Places from that. And Jamie XX is a member of and kind of a leader of the band, you guessed it, the XX. And I told you about the Mercury Prize earlier being uh, a yearly award given to the best album recorded by an English or Irish artist. Well, that album, In Color, was nominated for that prize in 2015. And it actually won the Grammy in 2016 for Best Dance Slash Electronic Album. So he came out with a bang, Jamie XX did. Uh, before that, Heather Nova from her ninth album, The Way It Feels, we heard girl on the mountain and heather nova is another one uh that i did not know where she was from it turns out she's from bermuda and her mother is from nova scotia which as i told you last week or maybe the year, week before that that is my home adopted home province in canada and that might be where she got the name nova from from her mom being from nova scotia and I'd also read something that Nova might have been her mom's maiden name. I'm not, I didn't verify that one. But anyway. And Florence and the Machine before that. Their third album, How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful. Celebrated five years today. We heard the song Third Eye. And that was a song that was not even released as a single. But it got into WBER's playlist. And ended up being the number eight song for the year in the WBER listener year-end countdown for 2015 and that was another album that was nominated for that mercury prize i probably should have looked up who won it that year uh, but i didn't so anyway uh we had a pair of albums celebrating 20 years today um granddaddy their second album called the software slump we heard the crystal lake from that and that album name the software slump is kind of a play on the term sophomore slump uh, which is a term for um, somebody's second work not being seen as being as good as their first work, mostly because of expectations that came from that first work. Uh, so I guess that was a situation they found themselves in. And the other album celebrating 20 years today was Bright Eyes, their third album called Fevers and Mirrors. And the song we heard there was the calendar hung itself. It was 25 years ago today that Teenage Fan Club released their fifth album called Grand Prix. We heard the song Sparky's Dream. And Liam Gallagher of Oasis called Teenage Fan Club the second best band in the world. And the assumption there is that Oasis was first best, but he seemed to like uh, Teenage Fan Club. And maybe it helped that they uh, were on the same label as Oasis, but anyway, he said that. Um, and celebrating 30 years today was The Breeders from their debut album, Pod, we heard Hellbound. Uh, Kim Deal of Pixies kind of met uh, Tanya Donnelly of Throwing Muses when they were both on a tour of Europe together, and they started hanging out and going out, and uh, they would go out to clubs and whatnot, and one night they went to go see the Sugar Cubes and got maybe a little tipsy, but they decided they were going to re record together at that show. And originally they were going to record dance music, but eventually they figured that their first few attempts were not very good and they gave up on that, but they formed the Breeders, which is not really dance music, but um, a very good band who recently came back together, although not with uh, Tanya Donnelly. And the set started with Alive and Kicking from Simple Minds, as we say a happy birthday to their longtime drummer, Mel Gaynor. He was their drummer from 1982, almost uh, without stop. There was a couple of gaps there. The, the whole band was off, but um, through 2017, so 35 years, he was the drummer for Simple Minds. And we have a set of milestones for tomorrow here for you and we're going to start this off with a, a birthday milestone from the clash on the only youtube channel that matters